here's a little intro until I get one professionally done. Like, comment, and subscribe to join in on the fun. at the Genesee Brew House in Rochester, New York, and it's Christmas season, which means there's a keg tree, which is behind us. Keg tree? Spoiler alert. Yeah, it's a Christmas tree made out of kegs, like beer kegs. Kegs of beer? Yes. It's festive. A lot of beer. <laughs> and there's a sleigh, and there's food, and there's a store, and it's super fun, and you should watch us have fun. <laughs> Are you excited? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yay! Come, come, come follow us. Walking up here, there's a Genesee sleigh. And it has the Genesee logo on the side and on the front. And over here, and it's really big. We're gonna have to get in it, but look at, look at these stairs. Like you could climb all the way up. You could fit like your entire, like, I don't know. Everyone in the world in here. Everyone ever. Are you ready to go in the sleigh? Yes. There's layers. Oh. Ugh. You okay? <laughs> It's actually a really big sled. Is, uh, you can climb up, put like for <laughs> 14 feet. Like your whole family in like here. Like your extended family, you your cousins, <laughs> like. <laughs> the biggest sleigh I've ever been in. <laughs> and over here is the highlight of the whole Christmas season. It's the Genesee keg tree. I love the keg tree so much. I realize this is probably a strange um, tradition, but here's the keg tree. It's made up of a zillion little kegs. Jacob, can you count each one? Uh, no. <laughs> Jen, Jen, do you think do you think Santa drank all that beer? Ooh, maybe. There's the Genesee sign up there, spinning around. There it goes. Yeah, maybe Santa likes Genesee. There's also this cool little sign in the background that says Jenny and changes every now and then. I don't know why you're not changing now. Jenny Penny. See? See what I did there, Jacob? Where are you? Is that where you got the name from? <laughs> no. Oh, there we go. Merry Christmas. Yay. Welcome to the <laughs> Brew House. Welcome. it's lit up. Today it's not. Why aren't you lit up, Mr. Waterfall? Yeah, why don't they light it up? I don't know. Ooh. Here we go into the brewery. In the window you can see some little cran orange beer and some lights, but the entrance is over here. Here we go. Ooh, Jenny herself is in the window. Ms. Jenny Beer, not Jenny Penny. Here she Jenny is. Beer is her name? <laughs> I don't know what her last name is, but it's not Jenny Penny. It is Jenny Lady. 
Yep. Is she like dressed up like a little nun? Not a nun. A maid. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know why I said nun. Um, she's like a little waitress. Waitress? Yeah. Yay! Here we go, walking in. There's the tree and some little festive cases here. Oh, and some snow removal because, you know, Western New York. But there's no snow outside, thankfully. That, make, that makes me very happy. And upstairs is the restaurant. Here's the beer menu, and I'm most excited for the Keg Tree Ale, both because it's named Keg Tree Ale and because I've had it before and it's delicious and I look forward to it every year. But there's also a Cran Orange beer that sounds super good. Their Scotch Ale is really good and there's a Shandy. And I was just telling Jacob that the Buffalo Chicken Pierogi is really good and you said you've never had a pierogi. That's crazy. How are you gonna date a Polish girl and not have a pierogi? It's like a lump of potato. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this one says it's um, stuffed with buffalo style chicken and served with blue cheese. So they have other stuff other than potato. Yeah, there's a whole pierogi festival in Buffalo. I'll have to take you. There's also potato chip tenders. That sounds interesting. I've never had tenders breaded with potato chips. And salads and pizza. And their burgers are super, super good. And look down here. Because we're in Rochester, there's Jenny Plates, which is a dog plate or a burger plate. And I've had the burger plate before, and it is phenomenal. Their burgers are really, really good. So much so that I will probably get the goat cheese burger. Do you, do you know what you're going to get? I can't decide. There's so much on the menu. <laughs> there is a lot. Next to our table over here, there's a sign that says Jenny's Best on Ice. And I get what they're going for here, but not this Jenny. Jenny Penny is not best on ice. If I was ice skating, I would fall and break everything. And just regular ice outside is cold and also awful. Just no ice for Jenny Penny. Our beer has arrived. So I ended up with a G. It's the keg tree beer, but it's the Brewhouse Cinnamon Keg Tree Ale. It's got cinnamon in it. Yeah, and it has a little logo and is that good? It's phenomenal. So this is like super, super good. Grand Orange. Now I hate beer. So. <laughs> oh, that's, that's okay. Oh, yay! He doesn't hate it. I, I told him that if he didn't like it, I would. <laughs> no, no, it's not good. It's got oh, like here, I want to try yours too. Flavor. Oh, yeah, that's not that beery. Do you want to try mine? Is it beery? Not really. Oh, now look at his face. That's okay. You like yours better? That one is bit, really good. Yeah. Hey! The buffalo chicken pierogies are here! So we have blue cheese and ranch for Jacob because he's... I like blue cheese. I don't know why she <laughs> ordered me ranch. No! You always want ranch! And actually, that blue cheese drinks. looks better than that ranch. Oh. Alright. That looks well, like homemade blue cheese. Yeah, I think it is. This is like glassy bottle ranch. <laughs> well, we, we could share the blue cheese. So you have to try a pierogi. So what is this? It's it says buffalo chicken. I don't know. I don't have the menu anymore. Oh, it's too hot. It's hot. Well, I thought you were going to like. <laughs> is it good? Or did you just get like dough for now? I just got dough for the first bite. We can wait for it to cool off, so you don't have to like burn your whole face off. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Is your tongue burnt for days? Oh no! Yay! So I waited for my pierogi to cool off, unlike some people. <laughs> and it's really good. I don't think it's, there's a potato base. It's and just a lump of buffalo chicken dip. Yeah, I think it's like um, it's kind of like buffalo chicken wing dip inside. It's really good though. Really good. So I'm trying to show you our food and I have to move stuff out of the way in order to show you our food. So I got the goat cheeseburger and mac salad. It's a Nashville chicken. Look at all those pickles. Oh, I love them. That actually looks really good. I wouldn't like it because of the hot sauce though. I like it too spicy. I couldn't even handle. I ordered the Popeyes um, shrimp 
at Popeyes. Yeah. And it was too hot. Oh, chat. <laughs> Fast food spicy stuff is always like, man. A friend of mine told me that um, ketchup is too spicy for me. And oh that's God. an exaggeration. Oh, for you? Yeah. Yeah. Ketchup is spicy. So, and you got soup. We got, oh, I don't want to spill, but I got very thick um, cheddar broccoli soup there. It all looks really good. And so, we're, we're going to go eat now. <laughs> How was your food? It was good. My food was also good, though I could not finish it. Didn't so, finish it. no, it was really good though. So I got a box, and yeah, you, you liked it. Mm -hmm. And now you've had a pierogi. Yeah, pierogi was good. I think that was my favorite part. <laughs> I did really like the pierogi. That's why I couldn't <clears throat> finish my food because I ate too many pierogies. <laughs> I ate all the pierogies. Look, engraved glasses—the perfect holiday gift. Now that dinner is over, we're going to go to the store and look at this Genesee Christmas sweater. It's super, super cute. One oh, the little hat that matches. And then here is a little Christmas with the trees and the snow. And then there's little ornaments. They're all up here as well. Oh, that one's really fuzzy. Is that too fuzzy for you? It's too fuzzy for me. <laughs> oh, look what I just found. Choose a button to play Genesee commercials from decades past. Here, we'll go with TV. Radio. Anything. Oh, wait. It kind of worked. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what's happening here. The buttons are working. Okay. But the, the, they're not playing. Over here's a whole stack of the beer that Jacob had. And look, look at all the old timey Genesee stuff. And this Rochester special bottle. I also like this stained glass window of Genesee. That's pretty cute. And then, oh, oh and it's for their imperial style and then there's a wide variety of christmas hats all the christmas hats you could ever want oh and once again my pale jenny oh and look at this this is pretty cool the genesee um, company genesee brewing company and all the horses it's kind of like budweiser with the Kleinsdale. This picture makes me laugh. And look at this guy's mutton chops. <laughs> he reminds me of someone. Here's another display of old Genesee merch. And look at this bowling shirt. That, that's a cool bowling shirt there. Oh, and even the bowling league and ball. It says here that the bowling shirt and ball used by Jenny Five Team member Ray Benson from 1954 to 1958. And here you can see the cans from 1935 to today. And there's quite a variety starting with the Jenny light at the top. But there's, it's made a lot of changes over the years. Jacob, what do you think of all the old beer cans? Uh, I wonder if they still have old beer in them. Maybe. Can you tell to see the top? Oh, they do look like they're sealed. Maybe they put a hole in the bottom and drained out the beer. <gasps> Maybe that makes sense. You're so wise. And here are the bottles and how they have changed over the years. I always liked the Genesee Bach beer logo and the little goat. 12 horse ale too, like we saw with the horses over there. And here's the sign again for Genesee 12 horse ale and me. Hello. In this corner, I found another Christmas tree along with all these caps. And these ornaments, I believe, have, no, not these specifically, I'm wrong. But they do have ones that have the Genesee logo on them and I have some of those for my tree, being from Rochester and all. <laughs> 
And if you don't want to eat at the restaurant, you can go to the Pilot Brewery. And I used to go here all the time. They had a fundraiser where it was like $3 or something and you got a flight, which is a crazy deal. But now it's eight, so a little more, but still lots of fun. And you take a peek in there of all the, uh, I don't know what they're called. I don't know what it's called. Where is it from beer? Um, kettles i think it says kettles back there this is not a very informative vlog i am sorry jacob do you know what they're called you're the carpet bagger you know kettles. things oh okay yeah. we're gonna go with kettles kettles it is i found another jenny jennies are everywhere here hey. jacob what? what is it like being around so many jennies at once um overwhelming it's, it's, no more jennies the better oh <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> Up here is the beer cams, and apparently it's the cam of the kettles, as we've decided they are called, even though that's not right. And I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments, which I will appreciate because I no, have no, 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 no idea. Wait, it really is a kettle? Okay. Oh, did you know that or were you just making it I up? I noticed that on the sign. Oh, yeah, here's the stages of brewing, and one of them is the kettle stage, so. Oh wait, there's also a tank, Jacob their fermentation tank. So is it a kettle or a tank? We should really sit here and read this sign and then we'll know how alcohol is made and won't have questions. Look at this guy sitting there diligently working on the formula for Genesee. Oh, oh, we switched. Jake, if you wanna play a game? What kind of game? Tap that keg! Uh, the Genesee Brew House Quiz. I didn't know nothing about beer. Well, then we're not going to do very well. The Genesee Brew House, if you are in right now, opened in what year? Oh, it opened way back in 1935. I think that's actually right. I'm sure you're the answer. <laughs> oh, wrong. you're wrong. 2012. Oh, oh, we were way off. All right. Well, continue. Let's keep being wrong. What makes beer fizzy? I'm going to say carbonation. Not celebration? Maybe a little bit of celebration. Ding, ding, ding! I'm a beer genius. You are. Carbonation makes beer fizzy. Continue. Original gravity measures the amount of what in wart. What's wart? wart. Like a warthog? Uh, let's go. Hakuna Matata. Yeast. Wrong. Wart, wart. Amount of dissolved sugar in the wort. Ew, there's warts in beer. That's gross. Maybe that's why you don't like beer. Yeah, there's too many warts. Continue. People are going to be so mad at this quiz. Why? <laughs> Fermentation in beer is caused by yeast consuming. Uh, carbon dioxide. It's all about science. Oh, no. no. Dun, dun. Uh, process where sugars are converted by yeast to alcohol and carbon dioxide. I thought that's what I said. That's. Okay, you were right. We're, we're gonna stick with you. We're right. I'm gonna answer your question. I don't know. This last one. Oh, because you have to say that word. The, this. the Reinheitsgebot law from <laughs> 15, 1680 in Germany identified what? Uh, the laws of brewing German style beers. Wah, wah. I know nothing about beer. Can you say the word again? The Reinheitsgebot purity law. They said. <laughs> Nothing other than barley hops of water be used. But today, well over 1,000 breweries in Germany make over 40 varieties of beer with only these ingredients. We're so much wiser now. Yeah. I majored in graphic design. This is for me. Road to Ruby and other adventures in graphic design. So there's kind of a glare here because this is, here we go. I'm going to put the, there we go. And Who is this guy? Um, Sailor Sam. I don't really know. This looks like Dorothy. Is it? Because there's a uh, lion. Cowardly lion? Yeah. I'm not really sure. But here are all the different guys. Oh, there's actually a whole binder here. Do you... Am I to read? Oh, look at my lovely Vanna White here. Okay, this is... It all started with a goat. It all started with a goat. Gross. And there's my fun little Oktoberfest fan friend. Permission to come aboard. And Dorothy. 
And some are those. Gnomes? Right? <laughs> and finally, Shira three beer. Do you know what any of these words mean? Nope. <laughs> Ooh, that one's purple. The end. Yeah. And that concludes Road to Ruby and other adventures in graphic design. Da da da! You can also get your Genesee trucker hat here or this polo that Jacob just pulled like up. For an employee? Maybe. Or just if you want to wear a Genesee light shirt. Do <laughs> Jacob, do you want to try on a hat? You look very cute. I don't want to try on a hat. Oh, he's the cutest little guy. We found posters. What do they have? Every sip, like a trip to snow country. Well, that's that what they call Rochester. <laughs> I mean. It is very snowy. I don't. I've, they're making snow seem so like happy here. I don't like, like snow. snow it no, it makes me very sad. I don't want every sip to be like a trip to snow country. That's depressing. And here, come along. See, this is nicer. Here she's skiing. That's better than snow country. Oh, and what's here? Taste Invaders too. All right, this is actually pretty phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like an old sci-fi I guess so and it's on this like spaceship I, I really like that one I want to hear see Taste Invaders 1 though the OG oh there's my friend the goat again experience an American original with baseball very Americana <gasps> I found oh this is also Taste Invaders 2 I thought I found the first one is this the same poster yeah, it's the same poster. I was. Ask for Jenny. Jenny Penny. And there is Jenny. Jenny Penny is gone. Oh, here's a whole map of Rochester. This is actually kind of cool. For your Halloween party. Oh, look at the spooky ghosts that want to drink beer. <laughs> And then here's a fun drawing of Jenny Cream Ale. Join the Jenny Cream team. The cream team, Jacob. And here's all these tints lining to the ceiling. It's like a little tree. Here's a fun fact. I um, signed up to win one of these giant steins and you can see with my hand like how big it is and I won and two of them appeared in the mail and I was really surprised and I tried drinking from them and it takes like four beers to fill one of these oh my God. <laughs> and I didn't finish it and it was four just four cans of beer yeah so those are still sitting around somewhere but I won those here's the ornaments I was talking about that I have there's the Genesee and cream ale. And what's this one? What would the gold one be? Oh, that one's for the brew house. There's a reflection there. And then there's these wooden ornaments. Oh, I guess we would have known it was established in 2012 if we would have seen this ornament first. And more ornaments over here. And a cream ale pin. Jacob. It's a cream ale pin. I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> You're like, but I don't drink cream ale. I, I guess that's lost on him. No cream ale pin for his hat. And thus concludes Genesee Brew House in Rochester, New York. Did you enjoy your dinner and it beer? Nice. It was, it was a good time. So thanks for watching. I have a Patreon and no outro. Um, do you have anything to add? You wanna? Goodbye forever. <laughs> Goodbye. So we're done with dinner and there's still no lights on the falls but there is a train going by and that's fun hello train 
And if I pan over here, you can see the Kodak building. So, kind of, from the side, a little bit. There we go, kind of. <laughs> 